Hey guys, I'm Andre. And this is A T V. We're gonna continue on to watching the world of lemon and now we're just beginning with Atlas. At last. <laughs> At last. I suppose it's time we talked about the fine people at the top of the world. Oh. Atlas is Remnant's youngest and arguably most successful kingdom, but it's a bit of a special case. See, before the Great War, there was no Atlas. There was Mantle. At some point in time, a group of settlers were crazy enough to venture out into the northernmost continent of Solitas. I guess when you're that desperate, a frozen hunk of rock doesn't seem like such a bad place to call home. As a matter of fact, the harsh weather conditions proved to be just as useful as the mountain ranges when it came to keeping the creatures of Grim at bay. But it also kept the people of Mantle from flourishing. Humanity's got a neat trick up its sleeve, though. Whenever we're faced with a problem, our inclination is to find a solution. The cold climate of Salatas forced its settlers to adapt. They developed a more advanced technology, and they did it faster than the rest of the world. What? Because they had to, to survive. But it was the Great War that really kicked things off. Were they underground? New forms of dust they application and weaponry allowed or... metal to expand. More and more territory was set aside for dust mining and research. The territory beside the kingdom's combat school, Alcius, was the most opportune area to construct a new R&D facility. But by the time things were all said and done, it would be much, much more. Alcius was reopened as Atlas after the Great War to house many of the warriors now seeking guidance in an effort to give back. The citizens. Mantle applied all sorts of new dust techniques and technologies it had used in the war to beef up the academy's campus. The school grounds expanded faster than they could have imagined and even helped to better water. secure the surrounding area. The dust, our dust, the different kind of dust. The kingdom's military water. moved in, then the labs and research facilities, and eventually even residential areas started popping up. In time, it became apparent that the city of Mantle was living in Atlas shadow. And so the decision was made to move the kingdom's capital. Mantle was old news, and the kingdom of Atlas was born. A golden age of prosperity, they called it. But those left behind in Mantle would probably tell you that it was the coldest winter they ever knew. Wow. Sounds so epic. <laughs> I wonder if, uh... Sounds sad. Because I know, uh... Atlas, it being how it is and stuff, if maybe something's going on in Mantle, so... Yeah, there could be like, something going on. You know, it might be within the, the inside. The future, there might be a coup with that. Eventually. Maybe that's how Twice's father is gonna stop being... Mm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Hey. <laughs> that was really big spoiler, spoiler territory. territory. Spoiler territory. I forgot for a second. I was gonna... <laughs> Well, it looks interesting. I stopped. They're like the youngest, I think. They're probably like brothers. Yeah, yeah. It would be cool. To see Unlike uh, Mistral, that was that was able. To, there were four thinkers, and that's what helped them with their technology. They had the more of the resources to do their technology well, was... better. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, and. Yeah. But the thing to go with that, what I was saying, the, that, resources. the thing that was, to go with what I was saying, not about the other stuff, but about the coup d'etat, it'd be kind of good, weird, good to see, because it seems like from this, Mantle would have a lot of probably problems with Atlas, but other than... Yeah, sure. Not well, sure it's yet. just from that, yeah, we, I don't know if it just seems like they're, how he, how, it's more how Crow put it, more than the story itself. I probably put it like, yo, they had the coldest winter they ever yeah, experienced. Yeah, it doesn't really show anything about negative feelings, just the fact that it's kind of like forgotten, almost. Mm -hmm. 
I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, usually when it's with those kind of stuff, sometimes people harbor, sorry, that's the kind of situation that can harbor two different people, people that give up and people that resist. To me, I think it's just going to be more of a thing where like, it's going to be a lot more homeless people or demand, so it's kind of going to be like the the darkness of Atlas, where it's everything that's swept under goes to mantle type thing. Yeah, you're all about the power. I think. And it looks, it looks like, like it. yeah, it looks like they're trying to be like the clean, ordinary thing, and all the garbage will go to mantle type thing. Like, yeah. Well, I don't know. Kind we'll of see. like one in one piece, you know, Sabo's play. Okay. But <laughs> different anime. <laughs> yeah. But let's get, get to the next video though, which is vacuum. Which, Vacuum. When last time I saw it, I heard about this. It seems like my kind of place that I would love to be in. What, Vacuum? Yeah. Let's see. I gotta see for myself. In some aspects. Other aspects, maybe not. Vacuum. 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 It's Vacuum. There, I gave you interesting out of all of them. There's one. one kingdom that's headed harder than the people of Mantle. It's Vacuo, the last of the four great kingdoms. The western end of Stannis is a barren and desolate wasteland. But long ago, before man went and ruined everything, it wow. was a paradise. In the center of the vast desert was an oasis unlike anything you'd ever seen. A jungle bursting with natural resources, geographical defenses, like and the world's <laughs> largest recorded deposit of dust. Nomads that survived the journey across the scorching sand settled down in this little hidden gem. And over time, the kingdom of Vacuo thrived. Unfortunately, comfort breeds weakness. While the rest of like Middle Eastern to learn and adapt to, order to survive, it's also like Vacuo's ancient society place. kicked but... back and lived a life of complacency. But when other, more developed kingdoms set their eyes on everything Vacuo had to offer, its citizens couldn't do anything to stop them from taking it. Jeez. Years of human conflict, unrestricted mining, and ecological disasters have changed Vacuo. The paradise that was once there is practically indistinguishable from the surrounding deserts. Citizens live in makeshift homes, uprooting and traveling frequently in response to the fleeting resources and occasional attacks from the creatures of Grim. After the Great War, a formal government was finally established. But by that point, the folks living in Vacuo didn't much care to uphold its laws, making Shade Academy the only real source of order in the kingdom. But order isn't everything. Vacuo may not be as prim and proper as the other three kingdoms, but it's still standing. And the people there have a mutual respect for one another. See, there's really only one unspoken rule in Vacuo. If you can survive here, then you're welcome here. So, so there you have people. it. Vale, Mistral, Atlas, and Vacuo. Looks like Vacuo you know, is the harshest place. I always say that the four kingdoms no were a representation of what mankind is capable of when working together. <laughs> Ever the optimist. We sure could use him now. Oh. And honestly, I think with its like rich life, like well, when it had rich life, it was a lot. You could you could have put it up like Middle Eastern with Australia type thing. Yeah, could, there was order, right? No, it's right. full of like. No, there wasn't order. There was a whole was thing just, of uh, peace. No one almost. did. No one was doing anything bad because they didn't need to. It was, it was like, like there was some kind of peace, right? Yeah. Until someone showed Until up. The kingdom, Until the other kingdom showed which, up. Which what showed there that first showed up, but the Apples showed up and with way better technology. And was just yeah. like they couldn't stand up to Atlas and then also eventually Bale and Mistral. And, Mistral came. Mm -hmm. and then the conflict and everything. Conflict and the resource tapping. And then it became... Well, yeah. they look like a full strong people though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like Which, uh, there's one thing that... You, like if you get survive, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> Sun... Sun is from, uh, Haven, which is Mistral. Yeah, Mistral. But he was born in Vacuo, so... That's why he's like so animalistic and everything. Yeah, it's yeah, his nature. Like <laughs> and it, what you'll get to know more is why he uh, also isn't very like closed-minded to faunus uh, and humans yeah. because he was born where it didn't matter. Yeah, open to this um, 
accept everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quality. But yeah. Okay, so if you liked the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of our videos. And also comment down below for anything you want us to react to, videos, or maybe just some small clips. And we will get to see, we'll get to try to see them and probably do them. And I guess that would be it for now. So again, see you guys later. See ya. See ya.